Hi YouTube and welcome to my channel. My name is Patrick and tonight I'm going to teach you how you can hack a Windows server by creating your own virus that will give you remote control of the Windows machine uh, to do whatever you want. This is super simple, anybody can do this, and I'm really excited to get to share this with you. Now before we get started, I, I want to say obviously this is educational purposes only. Uh, do not do this with any device that you do not own, and if you must do it on a device you do not own, get informed consent and written permission from the owner of the machine. You need to be very careful when you're doing this kind of thing, because it is very easy for you to do it in a way that is illegal, and a lot of this computer abuse stuff is a federal crime. Okay, with that out of the way, Let's go ahead and get started and show you what's going on here. So on the left I have a Windows server, and on the right I have a Kali Linux distribution installation. So we're just going to run this inconspicuous little virus file right here. That couldn't possibly be anything bad, could it? Oh, and what's happened here? Ah, okay, so you'll, you'll see it's giving us some information about an IP address and a port that it's uh, receiving a connection from. If I just run a little command here, what's this? Oh, we now have the system information of that Windows computer. Uh, what's going on? So if I hit shell, that'll give me a PowerShell session. And I'll just go into the desktop folder. Okay, and now you can see that I am in the desktop folder and we can do whatever we want in here. Okay, so that's all well and good. You know, you, you see that it's possible to create a virus and then use that to remotely control a Windows computer. Uh, but let's talk a little bit more about how that actually works. So there are a few steps to this process, but I promise this is all very simple. Anybody can do this at home. And this is all free, by the way. You can get this stuff free online, a trial version of Windows Server, and Kelly Linux is free. All you need is a computer to run it on, so really anybody can do this. So first of all, let's look at where we start with the Kali Linux virtual machine. The first thing we need to do is make the... First thing we need to do is make the virus, right? No big surprise there. And then what we have to do is get the virus on that computer. Now this is where you're going to have to be a little bit creative, right? because there are many ways that you can move a file, which is all a virus is, from one computer to another. Now you need to consider uh, things like the antivirus, Windows Defender. In this example, I have Windows Defender turned off along with the firewall. There are ways that you can bypass Windows Defender, and I'm going to make a video about those soon, so if you're interested in that, hit the subscribe button. Uh, but that's not what this video is about. This is just to get you familiar with the basics. So right now we have to, then we have to copy over the virus, okay? And then step number three, we have to run the virus, and that's going to happen on the Windows server. And then step four, success. Okay, so we're going to make the virus on the Kali Linux computer. We're going to copy the virus to the Windows machine. And then we're going to run the virus on the Windows machine, at which point, so what's going to happen then is the Windows server will spin up a little service. So we'll call this service one. It's going to spin up a little service in the background. And what that's going to do is it's going to reach out over the VPN or the network, whatever the medium is. It's going to reach out to the Kali Linux server. Now when the Kali Linux server receives that connection, it is going to reply back and say, hey, give me a shell. And at that point, that's when you can actually run commands back and forth from the Kali Linux box to the Windows server. Okay, so now I'm going to show you step by step how you can do this yourself. Okay, so remember, the first thing we need to do is we need to actually make the virus. So I actually have some code written to do that already, so I'm just going to copy paste that over. Uh, if you want to do the same and follow along, just replace the IP address here with the IP address of the Kali server, and then replace the port number with the port number you want to use. Okay, so from your Kali Linux uh, 
From your Kali Linux commands line, you're going to want to run the command sudo mfs console. That's going to launch a program called Metasploit. And also, you can get a copy of all of the code that you see here on my website. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Okay, so now that we have Metasploit open, we're just going to paste in that command that I copied. And this is using MFS Venom, which is a module of Metasploit, to create a meterpreter, reverse TCP uh, payload, basically. And that reverse TCP, what that means is that the reason it's reverse is because the Windows server is reaching out to the Kali Linux server as opposed to the opposite direction being the case. So that's why it says reverse and then TCP is because it's going to use uh, the TCP uh, connection. So pretty simple stuff. And of course you have the IP address and port there. Make sure to change that to your information on your server. And then finally, we have the home slash kadmin slash exploit.exe. Uh, all that is is where the, where the virus is going to be stored on the Kali server when it creates it. So we'll just go ahead and execute that command. And if everything goes well, it should tell you saved as and then the file path and name that you gave it. So now we need to get the virus from the Kali server onto the Windows server. Like I mentioned before, this is where you're going to have to get creative. In a real life scenario, maybe if you're red teaming, you would trick someone into downloading it. And then you also have to trick them into running it. So let's go ahead and download it first. Okay, and we have copied it over. So now we're just going to run it. And so now we're going to need to run these commands right here. Easy enough. And then we do exploit. Okay, and then you can see if we run sysinfo again, we are connected to the Windows computer. So that's how you can hack a Windows computer in less than three minutes. Now, again, if you, if you want to see any of this information, like the code that I showed you or step-by-step -step written instructions, I'll leave a link to my blog post down below that gives you a write-up of everything you just saw here. But anyway, I hope you found this insightful. Uh, again, this is for educational purposes only. Only do this on computers you own. The point of this video is to show you how simple this really is. And with this information, I hope you're better able to protect yourself and your friends and family from these very real online threats. Because if you can understand how the attackers do what they do, then it's easier for you to defend yourself from that. That's the purpose of me sharing this information with you. I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. My name is Patrick. Thank you for watching.